All right, welcome to the video. This is part zero, technically, of the series that's going to cover how to make custom VSTS or AKA extensions inside Azure DevOps. So here we see uh, this wonderful documentation page. You can find the link to this inside the video description, as well as a link to part one, where we actually start creating these extensions uh, inside the video description. So we see that there's a couple steps laid out for us in terms of prerequisites. Um, first and foremost, make sure you go to Azure DevOps or dev.azure, create an organization, create a project, self-explanatory. Second step, um, you need Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can go to code.visualstudio.com or look inside the video description link for a direct link to it. And obviously download and install Visual Studio Code. All right, next you see that they have TypeScript compiler. Actually, during part one, we're going to go over how we can install this. So just skip to part one. The next thing that we really need, though, is uh, Node.js. So, you know, you can look inside the video description or you can go to nodejs.org slash en slash download or whatever equivalent you might need for your country or region and download Node.js. Okay, so the only thing you have to do to confirm whether or not for sure you have Node.js installed is open up the command window and just type in node-v and you'll see we have it installed. Finally, the last thing you need is TFX CLI. Um, you can go to this GitHub link, github slash Microsoft slash tfs.cli to check out what's inside here. Otherwise, you can follow along for the next few steps and to install the packages via command. So as a final reminder, this is just the first part or part zero, really the precursor to part one, which is where we actually cover how to create the extensions themselves. Um, and again, video description, as always, will contain all the important links that you need. So if you have all of these dependencies installed, now's a good time to start watching part one to get yourself started. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was clear what dependencies you need. And just an FYI, um, obviously based on these dependencies, right now we're just covering how to create an extension via Node.js and TypeScript. Um, the future parts are actually gonna show you how you can use a PowerShell module and therefore obviously make a PowerShell extension that you can also use inside um, Azure DevOps as an extension. So uh, that being said, thanks for watching again and take care.